Well, thank you very much for that report, Hyunbin. Now, we're going to stick with the numerical order of the candidates. Mr Moon is number one on the ballot, so now we're going to move to number two, Hong Jun-pyo of the Conservative Liberty Korea Party. He's also in the southeast of the country on this Wednesday, stumping hard to win the hearts of voters. Our Shin Se-min joins us from Busan. So, Se-min, tell us about Hong's campaign strategy and what he's been talking about on this national holiday. Mark, you're seeing less of the festive mood behind me because uh, the conservative candidate Hong Jun-pyo of the Liberty Korea Party took off a little over 20 minutes ago with the jam-packed street, what used to be jam-packed streets, clearing out in the minutes after. Now, it was Hong Jun-pyo's third visit to the port city of Busan here today uh, since the official campaigning period took off a little over two weeks ago. Mark, his strategy seems clear. His tapping on the traditionally conservative stronghold of the country located in the country's southeast region. He, while he was in Busan, he's uh, built up support with the locals uh, for the third time, well, for, for one last time before the May 9th presidential election. Now, revisiting the city for the third time, Hong appealed to his supporters, saying that the people of his hometown should buy for him on the election day to make Korea safe and strong once again. Hong, busy driving up his recently found momentum, started his Wednesday celebrating Buddha's birthday, just like all the other candidates early this morning. Hong said beside all but one of his four rivals at the Chogye Temple in downtown Seoul. Then he dropped by a police headquarters in Seoul's western Mapogu district, encouraging officers and the other civil servants who are working even on the national holiday. There, he pledged to raise their base salaries and to take responsibility for any on-the-job injuries that may occur due to accidents. Now, the self-proclaimed strongman Hong jun pyo will now head to uh, Daegu, also known to be a strong conservative home base, for his wrapping up his uh, daily schedule. Mark?